The features in a job map are grouped into feature topics, or topics, for short. The features in each topic are placed on a separate map layer. A topic layer can contain only points, only lines, or only areas, but not a mix of different types of features. To see a list of all the feature topics in the active job file, tap the topic view icon. This icon will toggle the topic view, on or off. The topic view is displayed on the left side of the screen. When you tap one of the topics in the topic view, that topic becomes the active topic layer, and it will be highlighted. Also, when you tap on one of the features in map view, the topic, to which that feature belongs, becomes the active topic. For example, after you open the CMTTUT job, you can tap the topic view icon to have the topic view panel displayed. You will see tree listed as a topic layer. You can tap on tree to highlight it and make it the active topic. To toggle the display of an individual topic on or off, tap the check box on the left side of each topic name. To change the symbol assignment for a topic, simply double tap the existing symbol displayed beside the topic name and topic view, then select the new symbol. Subsequently, all the features on the topic layer will be represented by the new symbol. In general, you will want to have point feature topics and line feature topics placed above the area feature topics so that the area feature layers won't block out the points and lines underneath. You can change the order of the topic layers. To do so in ICMTGIS3 or ICMTGIS Pro, hold down on a topic name and then drag it to the desired position. If you are using IGPSGIS2 or ICMTGIS2, you must first select Topic Menu, Topic, followed by Move Topic. As an exercise, move the tree point topic in the CMTTUT job to be above the block and parking lot area topics. Afterwards, the trees on the tree topic layer will no longer be blocked by the area topics, and all of them will become visible. GPSGIS data contains information about a feature's location as well as its attributes. Typically, you would be interested in knowing what type of feature was recorded, when and how the data was collected, the location of the feature, the feature topic, the feature ID and a description of the feature. All these bits of information about a feature are stored in a feature record. The CMTPC mapping software and the CMTGPSGIS data collection apps provide what's called a sheet view that can display the information in the feature records in a spreadsheet format. Each feature topic will have its own sheet view structure. You can toggle the sheet view on or off in the CMTGPSGIS data collection app by tapping on the sheet view icon at the top of the display. After activating a topic, either by selecting it from the topic view, or by selecting one of the features in that topic, you may tap the sheet view icon, to list all the feature records in that topic. The sheet view presents the features and their attributes in a tabular format based on the feature topic setup. Go ahead and open your own MyPark job. Tap the topic view icon, and then tap on the tree topic name, to select it. When you tap the sheet view icon, you will see the spreadsheet showing the tree records. Sheet view provides an alternative way for you to select the desired feature for viewing or editing. Tap a record in sheet view, and watch the corresponding tree get highlighted in the map. With a view icon, displayed at the upper left corner of sheet view, you can tap on any cell to highlight it. You can double tap on an attribute cell to edit its value. When you tap the view icon, which is represented by an eye, it changes to the edit icon, which is represented by a pencil. In the edit mode, whenever you tap on an attribute cell, the keyboard will pop up for you to edit the contents of the cell. Therefore, 
when you just want to view the data and will not be entering anything, remember to tap the edit icon to change it to the view icon. Normally only a few records will be visible along with the map display. You may drag the top of the field name cell, up or down, to change the number of rows displayed. You may also click on the full sheet view icon, to have the entire screen dedicated to sheet view. You may change the order of features in a featured topic, by highlighting the feature record in the sheet view, and then using the arrow icons at the bottom. Sheet view provides one way to delete a feature. You will first highlight the corresponding feature record, and then tap the recycle bin icon. Be careful! Always make sure you really want to delete a feature before confirming the deletion action. A deleted feature cannot be recovered. Sheet View provides a convenient way for you to add or change the description for each feature record. You may edit the displayed value, if it is not a value computed by using a formula, or a value for a built-in attribute, such as ID, and area in acres. To change a value displayed in a cell of the Sheet View, double tap on the cell, and then type over the existing data. In the ICMTGIS3 and ICMTGIS Pro apps, if a feature belongs to a topic that was added from a feature list, then the predefined values will be available for you to select. For an attribute of the list type, you may click on the pull down arrow in the cell to select the desired value. If the attribute is not locked, then you may also enter any value. For an attribute of the range type, you may only enter a value within the allowed range. The Topic Menu, represented by the Topic Menu icon, provides the function to create a new topic, modify the topic structure, as well as a number of other functions, that operate on the active topic. As you can see, the topic menu on ICMTGIS2 is much shorter. In this video, we will focus on the topic operations shared by all the CMTGPSGIS data collection apps. Some of the other topic operations are provided in PCGIS. We will discuss those when we talk about the PCGIS software. Before adding a feature to the map by digitization, or by recording its position using GPS, you will need to select the appropriate feature topic into which that feature will be placed. If such a feature topic does not exist, then you will need to create it. We have seen how feature topics were automatically added when we collected GPS data using a feature list. In addition, we were able to add a new topic layer during GPS data collection. The path topic was added in that way when we did the My Park job. Another way to add a new topic layer is to select New Topic on the Topic menu. Suppose we would like to add a topic layer named Sidewalk to the CMTTUT job. Enter the topic name Sidewalk on the Topic Structure page. Since sidewalks are line objects, select line for the type field. You can add one or more attribute names for this topic, and specify the data type and parameter. Let's tap the Add button, double tap on the blank cell, and enter Condition as the attribute name. This attribute is a text descriptor. We can leave the field length at 23, to accommodate a long description. The ICMTGIS2 and IGPSGIS2 apps do not provide the ability to specify the data type and data field length for the attributes. Now, you can see that the sidewalk topic has been added to the topic view. You can make changes to the structure of an existing topic, such as by adding more attributes to the topic. Let's open the my Park job. Select the tree topic in the topic view, and then call up the topic menu to select 
Edit topic. I'm going to add two more attributes to the tree topic. One is the diameter at breast height, or dbh. I've made this a numeric field of the integer type, as I will be entering the tree diameters as whole numbers in inches. I'm also adding an attribute called basal area, which is also a numeric field, but it will be of decimal type. You could shorten the length of the data fields to save data storage space. I've entered reasonable data field lengths for the tree attributes. When you tap the Sheet Setup tab on ICMTGIS3 or ICMTGIS Pro, you could change the order in which the attributes will be displayed in Sheet View. The Sheet Setup table will let you hide an attribute if you choose to do so. It also provides a lock checkbox that you could use to prevent accidental changes to certain data fields. For example, you would normally lock the meter number and address fields for a meter root, and just make the meter reading data field available for the meter reader to enter data. We mentioned previously that you could reposition a topic layer in topic view of ICMTGIS2 and IGPSGIS2 after selecting Move Topic on the Topic menu. With ICMTGIS3 and ICMTGIS Pro, you can drag the topic name anytime. To delete an existing topic, first tap the Topic View icon and select the topic. Then, tap the Topic Menu icon and select Delete Topic. This will delete the topic definition as well as all the features on the topic layer. Please note that a deleted topic and the features in that topic cannot be recovered. Confirm to delete a topic layer only if you are absolutely sure about it. If you wish to have the features displayed in map view along with one or more of its identification labels or descriptions, first tap the topic menu icon and then select auto label. You may opt to show the feature's topic name, sequence number or feature ID. You may select one or more attributes to be displayed. Select Delete Labels if you wish to have the labels deleted. Select Hide Labels if you only want to hide the labels but not delete them. Tap the Front tab to change the front size, front typeface, or the freeze label size and zoom setting. You can set the default size, color and placement of these labels with respect to the features by using Main Menu, Setup, Auto Label. The settings under Main Menu, Setup, Auto Label will only be applied to newly created labels. They will not affect any existing labels. If you wish to have the new settings applied to all existing auto labels, then you should use the Delete Labels button to remove all existing auto labels and then create the auto labels again. You may adjust the placement of an auto label by tapping on it to select it in map view and then dragging it to the desired location. You may change the properties of an auto label by tapping on the label in map view to select it and then tapping on the feature properties icon. You may change the front size and orientation as well as specify the label orientation in degrees in the clockwise direction.